Is it okay for Asian actors to perform in an Asian accent? Constance Wu is speaking up about it, and she's urging for more authentic representation. But David, this is a sensitive topic for a lot of Asians, so... Let's talk about it. Yeah, this is going viral in the Asian entertainment community right now. Let's run the clip from the daytime talk show, The Kelly Clarkson Show. How do you feel, though, representation has changed for Asian Americans? I feel like I feel like it's gotten better, but I feel like there's still work to do. Well, you know, I think it has gotten better in that it's more there. Yeah. Um, I still think the conversation is too focused on positive representation of Asian Americans, and I think that's another trap. I don't think we need positive representation. I think we need whole human representation, mm -hmm. which includes our faults, which includes um, talking about things that are difficult in the community, such as the internalized misogyny mm -hmm. that happens, such as me talking about what happened on the show. An Asian love interest with six pack abs. Why can't we have one that doesn't have six pack abs? Yeah, because do you I know what I mean? Totally we totally got some need... under here. <laughs> I'm just doing a load. No, but I mean Laundry. the point should be that you are loved and worthy as you are, yeah. with all your flaws. You're, even if you don't have a six pack. But Asian Americans yeah. have a history of being mocked in, um, especially in popular culture. Yeah. And I think that is why there has been this sort of overcorrection of wanting to be cool. Mm -hmm. Such as like when I did Fresh Off the Boat, people were very mad that my character had an accent. So much so that some actors would say, I, Asian actors would say, I refuse to play any character that has an Asian accent. And I almost feel like that refusal almost... You're saying there's something wrong with it. Yeah, almost strengthens the antiquated idea that there's something inherently shameful or buffoonish about an accent. I when love accents. When you look at it objectively, all it means is that you know two languages. That is friggin' cool. Yeah, I mean, I think in a vacuum, Andrew, regardless of how controversial Constance Wu as a person and her own personal roller coaster and imaging with the public, most people could agree with what? Anywhere from like 60 to 80% or 100% of what she said? Well, I think, yeah, she was just saying, hey, more authentic stories, but accents are good. They're cool if you can do them well. I think that is a caveat, by the way. Um, obviously, we know that the whole usage of accents is very sensitive in the Asian world because a lot of people get made fun of and teased about it growing up and also, is it used uh, just to make fun or mock Asians? Anyways, guys, we are going to get into all of that because there are a lot of comments. So please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Somebody said, why are accents so heavily debated in the Asian community when in the Latino community, they're often embraced? Mm. I mean, I do think it's a little bit different. The whole story is different. I mean, I know that a lot of Latino shows and a lot of Latino comedians lean heavily on the accent and it's not really debated in their world. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like uh, how everybody you're kind of expected to say like Latino, like if you're saying the word Latino, you got to say it in the accent. Yeah, thing. I do think it's different because I guess all Latinos speak Spanish and they have uh, just a whole different relationship. It's, they're they're it's, part of the Western it's a hemisphere. Different situation. Yeah, so anyway, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, Andrew. Let us just get into the comments section and then our own takeaways. Somebody said, well, how about we just give those roles to people with actual accents so it's less cringe? And someone said, yeah, would you like that, Constance? Because then you never even would have got your career started on Fresh Off the Boat because you were kind of using a kind of sus accent. Ooh, that's a good dig. Uh, yeah, they have a point, but I would just say there's not, like, countless actors that you can choose from. You know, you have to just choose ones that can do the role and fit the role and can fit it well enough. It is true, though. Even in 2023, your accent does not have to be perfect but it does have to be better than it was 10 15 years ago i do think in fresh off the boat hers and randall's uh randall's like came in and out but hers it was like i was like man it's barely hitting the threshold any worse and those would have been problematic but they they barely hit it i would say they were they they barely got over the line somebody said uh we need to portray more asian americans as americans guys i love the immigrant stories but what the heck man even all the shows that we're getting nowadays always have some mysticism or some immigrantness whether it's minari shang chi kung fu abc this uh was a pretty americanized korean guy i, I want to say he's yeah. like in his 40s i think that our asian immigrant story is still extremely interesting to people and it does make for a good story because they are good stories so 
whether it's us being an outsider and American born Chinese, whether it's us being immigrants and Minari, whether it's being actually just in Asia, like parasite or whatever it is, these stories are just good. But I do think as long as the story is good. And if you can find really good Asian American stories, I think they have legs. But what do you think about this guy constantly arguing, man, like beef had no mysticism. There was no Confucianism in it, or at least no like ancient version of it. Like we just need more of that. Why, why can't we just have more being American? Yeah, I mean, just someone got to write a good story. That's all it takes. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, obviously the market has to accept it. I think sometimes timelines, they don't move how we want them to, right? The timelines are going to burn and the candles are going to burn how they do. Somebody said, I understand a perspective, but I feel in today's society, it's only going to increase harm towards Asians in the West. Um, yeah, I mean, basically saying that, like, I get where she's coming from, but just they think that accents increase the foreignness and the foreignness leads to more attacks in do the you, street do you think it's because a lot of the accents are like some form of a chinese accent whether it's cantonese or like a northern are you accent? talking about like for example ken john being korean but doing a chinese yeah. vietnamese gambler accent as chow uh, in the hangover series yeah i don't know i i don't personally i kind of see what she's trying to say it's an interesting comment and i'm trying to rack my brain of comedians who use asian accents and then whether they're pro or anti -chi i got i don't know maybe she feels like that when you're very Americanized, you feel more okay doing a bunch of accents. And if you're more American, then you're more anti-China. I don't know. Who knows? Somebody said, my opinion is that we as Asians should not just fit the narrative that society brands us as. Asian representation is way too broad of a brush anyway. I understand it's an easy way to categorize and digest people who look like me, but to say how Asians should be portrayed in media is way too nuanced to have a definitive answer that we should all agree on. Just be true to our unique selves and be done with it. Mm. So this was person was saying, like, man... We're just all so diverse. Why are we even trying to brand 60% of the world anyway? Yeah. No, I mean, that's a good question. But also, how do we do it then? Yeah, but then because it's like almost like saying Chuck, it's almost dismissing the discussion. But then it's like, but we do no, need to have the I discussion. I need to see the new proposed system. The alternative system before we move systems. Of course, this was the negative Constance Wu section. Someone said, yeah, wise words from the most respected member of our community, huh? Somebody said, man, Constance Wu is so annoying. Her voice, her acting, just everything about her, I can't stand her. She is so whiny. Other people said, stop the bullying in the comments, guys. Social media should be uplifting, and, and but it's so toxic. Instead of just a free, it just becomes a free space to bag on All someone. All right, let, let me just stand up and say, I think she has been through a lot in the past few years, whether it was her own doing or whatever, the backlash and everything and the rumors and things she was talking about. And, you know, and I do think that people change. And I think that Constance, what she said in this clip is agreeable for the most part. Uh, yeah. And I, I don't, I don't think it's like, but yeah, I guess one listen, of these days she needs to acknowledge that even her Taiwanese accent, Taiwanese Mandarin accent is like she's is like 5.5 out of 10. Constance it's barely there. Is not the master of accents, all right? Let me just say that. Yeah, she's from Tennessee. I mean, she probably pretty uh grew up in the mainstream world, let's just say that. Someone said accents are fine. How come like Latinos accept their accents, but then people don't see them as British accents? Um so why can't we depict the Asian American experience? So it's like it's a bit naive to assume that people see Asian accents as something cool because so many people diss on them. It's not treated like the British accent. Yeah, I think it is becoming cooler. I think it takes a really cool person to do an Asian accent and make it sound cool. I've heard it. Who 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 Ken, did it? Ken Watanabe. Ooh, he oh, yeah, he's from cool. Japan. No, I thought even uh, Donnie cool. Yen sounded really cool in John Wick 4 doing uh, HK yeah, Kanto also, accent. Also, these guys are from Asia. They kind of have these very refined, like, cool, high-level accents. What you're saying it's not a village accent. To be honest, it's not. Yeah, John, sometimes those are just John, a little bit more blue collar. Yeah, you're going to die. Um, somebody says, "I don't care what anybody says. If there was no Jamaican, Irish, or Australian, any accents, things, and comedy in general would have been so boring." There's two sides to every argument. It can be hurtful when it's used to bully others, but when it's delivered right, it's so refreshing and fun, and it just brings such a new thing to the to the joke or to the scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think it's true too. Anyway, um, yeah, Andrew, what do you think is your takeaways, man? There's so many arguments about it going back and forth. Oh, this last comment was really interesting. She said, I agree with much of what, but with what she's saying, and I feel like, but I feel like the timing isn't right, and the pendulum has not swung as far as it needs to in regards with Asian actors in mm. the mainstream. If we were at a different point into our integration, it would make more sense, but I think we're still at this time where we got to fight for every inch. This was more, almost like more calculative based off 
where they feel like we are in our timeline. Or, you know, so like, what is she saying? Do or don't do accents? No, that accents are bad. They're not inherently bad, but just for the calculus of the moment strategically. My response to that would be to do better accents and just do them well enough and just push through it. That's what I would say. I would say, don't stop doing accents. That's like, stop saying this word. It's like, no, just like, let's just work through it and like do better accents. Let's have a higher standard for accents from everybody. Yeah. So that everybody's got to try harder. How about this, Andrew? More uh, responsibility has to be put on the content of what is being said in the accent. Exactly. Because John Wick, uh, Kane is being a badass killing everybody, being the strongest dude, pretty much. So it's like, how can what he says be whack? Well, listen about this, David. This is my argument. We're all in the food space. How can an Asian-American chef cook authentic Asian food that's more authentic than them? So if I'm, an, if I'm a Chinese-American chef, I'm like, oh, yeah, look at all this food that's straight from China that I'm cooking. And then people are like, yeah, I love your food. That's great. What, I can't do an authentic accent too? Like, what do you, like, why can we not still work with authentic elements from the motherland even though we're American? Yeah, I think it's complicated, man. I mean, it even goes to the argument, and shout out to Nigel, you know we're friends with him, but like even the debate over Uncle Roger, I could see valid points on both sure. sides. You know, I think sure. these things are really in the gray area. Um, Andrew, what are your final takeaways? Is, is Constance like right, wrong? I think she's kind of right. I don't agree with all of her lines that she said in that interview, but uh, for the most part, when it comes to accents, we should do accents and we should do them well. Yeah, I always think it's interesting anytime a like internal Asian American discussion gets put out on like middle America daytime news. Anyway, what, let us know what you guys think of the discussion in the comment section below. Keep it civil. I think there's good arguments on both sides. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.